everybody? Welcome to this episode of ENT. Here we are at the seeping mossy wall next to the highway to show you how to build a quad anchor using a sling. So with me, I have a 240 centimeter sling. And on my last episode, I showed you how to do a cordelette quad anchor. This one is a lot simpler. You're missing a lot of steps. Uh, so it's really quick to build and really simple. So I have myself 240 centimeters folded in half. I'm gonna find the tab and I'll even it out. So I have two loops here. I'm gonna take one arm, make sure that the other end is equalized as I do this and I'll pull it through. There we go. So we have one arm here. I'm going to take my other side. I'm going to do the exact same thing, making it about the same distance. There we go. We have ourselves a quad anchor. Two arms, there's the master point. Knots are a bit off. We can easily adjust that just by doing this. Feeding some rope out or some sling out and tightening it. Voila. So the advantages of using a Dyneema sling, like I said, is that they tend to be a lot uh, easier to build. The other thing that they're also really good at is they're really strong and uh, they're lightweight. So if you're doing a lot of um, traveling, these things are great for like carrying across long distances. The drawbacks are, however, that when you put a knot on Dyneema, it usually reduces, if you do an overhand knot, The other thing that's a drawback too is durability. So as this knot's rubbing on the wall as you're climbing, you're gonna get a lot of scrapes, scratches, and it reduces the integrity of uh, sling greatly. The cordelette's a lot more durable. It can last a lot longer. Uh, it's protected by a sling. Uh, so yeah, those are the two advantages. Uh, your sling also, your cordelette will also have a double fisherman's and that'll reduce the integrity of that one arm by about 20% as well. Um, but that's just one arm, it's not the actual knots. So now that we have this built, let's put our lockers on it. Let's actually put it on the wall. So I'm gonna take one arm and I'm gonna attach it through a link. Some people do the anchor or the hanger. Some people will do uh, some of the links. I prefer the oval link. It adds more space and it's easier to put in. And I face it out and I face the other one out as well. That way that this uh, twist lock isn't rubbing against the rock itself. Tighten both down and I have myself a quad anchor. It can take load uh, forces on different directions. You have different tie-in points. Um, and it's just an incredibly versatile light anchor. When I'm done with this, it's easy to just put away. All I'm gonna do is take one locker off, get off here. And then I'm gonna take the other one off as well. Take it, twist up this end, stick it through one of the lockers, stick the other one on. Nice compact on your back, good to go.